A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to HWH and HGN being blended together into one unique piece known as Tiny Diecast Fury. So, let's just get it on by talking a bit about a 2015 model, a really popular model called Drifta. Simply put, a car made for drifting. This little guy right here is a nice bright orange, has the name Drifta printed on the sides, has itself side skirts, or side plates, depending on what you might call them. A large back piece. Not to mention, this little, can't really be sure what they are supposed to be. They're supposed to be like roof racks. But above all that being a 2015 new model, that's also designated as a grade for track model, considering that there's a loop logo right here. It seems to be common on cars nowadays. Every time they want to make it great for track, they just print a loop logo on the base. So of course, that's how you can tell. This is supposedly a great for track or track stars model. But of course we know for a fact, sometimes it's not always the case. Shame, 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 but you know what? Not really here to talk about that part, so. I really do love this model, and I really do love how it actually has gotten really big over the past seven, eight years, which is insane. But uh, I don't really know how else I could describe it, but that's just simply how well this model rolls. It's one of those things that is just too darn good to ever possibly be ignored, or even discussed further than what it is. A drift car. A fantasy model that Hot Wheels made and released seven to eight years ago. Not that long, but it sure has built up a huge fan base around itself. And is considered a fan favorite amongst many things. But if you want to see more, go down on my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 